All right, Mark, you asked about um, YouTube and how easy it was to upload videos. So I'm going to show you that. Here's my YouTube website, my uh, my school website. I've got two, one personal and one um, uh, school. And so there's my icon there, and I'll talk about these things over here in a second. But here's all my stuff. I've got home. Um, try to get I don't go to. Uh, things that I've sus subscribed to and then library. When I click on library, you might go to some of my history, but down below it'll have playlists that I have, and I've got one that deals with um, uh, school, you know, how to do certain kinds of things uh, for my students, English, my some of my videos for during the corona time, so you can make all kinds of little folders there. And then over here is where you upload, this is the easy part. Click on this little camera and you go to upload video. So I have the option to select files or I can drag in a file. I'm going to select files. And I put what I wanted to put on the desktop here. And so let me get to the desktop. And uh, there we go. And I click open. And so then it starts doing this. <clears throat> it's entitled YouTube Upload How To, which is a part of this file that I'm making. I'm just doing it in two parts. And you can see it's uploading 98, 100%. It's, and now it's processing. So I have my uh, thumbnails here. I really don't worry about that kind of thing. Uh, and that's only that's the image that you see when uh, you're looking around for your different videos. I can go to playlists and I can create my own playlist where I have a file, so I have one for how to, AP, advanced placement how to videos for my students, AP English Corona right there, and then I'm not gonna put anything in there. Now you can see it's 95% processed already. And so I can still move on, I don't have to worry about that. I go for uh, age restriction for audience, I go, um, it's not made for kids. I do this by default, I do that. And then that's all I have to do, click on next, and then uh, I skip through this page. And then for you, uh, mine's a little bit different. I have public. I don't care who sees mine. But if you're, you're going to be doing yours <clears throat> for a class, you might want to make it private so that only the people that have the link can watch it. So that's something to keep in mind. But I go public. And then publish. And then uh, I can publish it anywhere here, but I'm not going to. Then I close. And you're going to see it pops up here. So this uh, right here... Uh, this is the thumbnail right here that it is. So it lasts three minutes and two seconds. And so from here, I can get a shareable link. I can promote it to somebody. I've never done that before. Um, I can delete it if I don't like it. <clears throat> and so, or I can play it. And so basically, this is starting off. All right, Mark. This is the same video. I just, YouTube I'm doing it in two parts. So that's the YouTube part of it. The other part of it. Uh, the actual filmmaking, I really like this. It's by TechSmith. It's called Camtasia. Uh, our school has had products called Snagit and Camtasia, and you can do a free trial if you're interested in, and or you can do a bundle. I use this stuff, a bunch of snag pictures off of uh, the Internet, and to do quick videos. Uh, but this Camtasia is a lot more uh, sophisticated, and it's, it's pretty freaking awesome. And... Uh, there are all kinds of um, uh, help kinds of things on this website, but I also go, if I have questions, I go on to YouTube, I type in Camtasia, and there's all kinds of things. If you're trying to figure things out about how to video, how to group files, and all that kind of stuff, it's, it was a learning curve, but <clears throat> it's pretty dang intuitive. And so um, hopefully this helps you making your decision about it. There's other programs, so maybe you want to check on some other possibilities. This one can install on two machines per user, and I don't know if that makes a difference uh, for you, uh, but um, hopefully this helps. The image below is a snapshot that I took from uh, using Snagit, which is a part of that whole company that I just showed you about, uh, of the screen uh, that I used to make this video. And there's a lot of things going on there, but man, it is once you understand it, it's very easy to use. And, um, you know, if you end up getting something like that, I, would, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind at all 
uh, coming to, to work with you to help you out with it. But um, uh, just uh, hopefully this helps. All this information helps for you making a decision. Bye.